I am a white woman and as such come from a place of privilege. I will never know what it's like to walk in the skin of a black woman. I will never know what it's like for someone to shout a racial slur at me. I will never know what it's like to be followed around in a store. This is white privilege. But I am also the wife of a black man and the mother of a mixed race child who, make no mistake, the world will always see as a person of color. These are the two people I love the most in this world. These are the two people with whom I feel safest. They are kind and compassionate. And yet when they walk out the front door, many will see them as threats solely because of the color of their skin. So to me, this issue is deeply, deeply personal. My son is a, a, a big kid now. He's 13. He is 5'9", and he is a, a linebacker, if you will. He's that big, that size, and he plays football. And um, I just remember as he was little and growing up, he had a struggle at school and had an outburst at school, and he was in the fifth grade. And the school called the police, and they put my son in the back of the car. No mom ever wants to see that happen. He was 10 years old. And I can't help but wonder if he had been a 10 year old white girl, a 10 year old white boy, would he have been put in the back of that police car and driven off? He's got a, such a kind, sweet soul and a good heart. And the other day he came in and he just shared with me, mom, I feel like somebody's gonna hurt me. I feel like I might die. And right now he's 13 and he's only gonna get bigger. Um, he's only gonna get to some people, not to everyone, but to some people he's gonna only be more intimidating at times, more threatening. So it's terrifying to think of what may happen to him as he grows up as a young man in the world that we're living in right now. It's just terrifying. So I'm Laurel Logan Fain. I am the Senior Director of Organizational Development 